We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Jordan Brooks, the newest Miami Dolphins linebacker. And I'm honestly just a big fan of this approach the Dolphins are having in free agency. Being a little more patient, not just throwing out big money, overspending on like the top free agents. I like, you know, getting these guys who I still feel like are quality solid players, but not overpaying, getting in that solid price tag. I think Brooks in that range with the rest of the linebackers, I thought he was at least as good or better than a lot of them. And he got played a little bit less. So I'm a fan of this. He's only 26 years old, super athletic and rangy to make plays, solid versus the run. You can do some stuff with him blitzing, as you'll see, you know, right here, uh, 56 really closing get forcing that fumble right there and then which really stands out to me is his ability in coverage like if you're just looking at him like as a pure spot dropper in zone he does a decent job he's solid there but when you can watch him mirror and match stay over the top play top down he does a good job of that stuff even matching out in the slot which is super important he's a good scheme fit which is a big big thing like playing in like a very similar skill set to like the ravens linebackers which is very very nice to see and then another thing is uh his ability to carry down the field like you ask him to carry a tight end down the field vertically or find even deep crossing receivers as you'll see throughout this video he can do that stuff very very easily like he's very comfortable uh even finding shallow crossers uh it's a, definitely an upgrade in my opinion at the linebacker position which i think was important because the dolphins weren't going for like the uh big positions because those were getting such overpaid so they went after like linebackers got a center they got a tight end and I thought they all got them at reasonable prices and they all fit the scheme. And I think they can even play better in their in the new team with the Dolphins than they did uh, at their old teams. And they still were playing pretty well. And I think Jordan Brooks is a good playmaker. That's also ascending. He's still quite young and he's shown improvement in all his years. So like to see this move. Big fan of this. And uh, there's definitely a lot to like. And we'll see a lot of plays of him in coverage with some plays versus the run. Because versus the run, he does a solid job. Uh, gets his job done, fits versus the run. I think, you know, he could trigger a little bit faster at times, but overall, I really like this signing for, for what it was. Great to see Brooks versus the run. Also, Dolphins sign uh, Aaron Brewer, Anthony Walker, probably just going to get a free agent out every single day. So you'll probably see Brewer tomorrow, Walker the next day, or, you know, potentially other free agents if they sign. Uh, we'll see. But right now, focusing on Brooks. On the backside of some runs, like to see, you know, playing as like a weak side linebacker. I think he can do both, be like your weak side uh, middle linebacker, tracking through. Um, staying in phase with the running back when you're on the backside of like um, runs like these especially you know outside zone runs you want to stay in phase he does a good job staying square staying patient and you want to stay about a, like a yard behind the running back so if he does hit the cutback um, you're in position but you're also still have the angle to potentially catch them down the line of scrimmage so he stays patient stays squares starts seeing the flow of this play reads it and now he scrapes back over the top here ready to meet him at the hole holds that to like a two to three yard gain that's exactly what you want to see about out of your linebacker in that situation. Just good, solid instincts, being able to track through the trash there and uh, be patient. You don't always need to be just flying downhill, super aggressive versus the run because sometimes you take yourself out of the play. Here's some good recovery from Jordan Brooks. You watch him uh, make this play. I feel like, you know, he gets a little bit sucked up by the play action. is a little bit late to get over the top on this tight end, but look at him, the recovery speed. That's Trey McBride too, who was really good at the end of the season for the Cardinals, a really good player. So uh, him getting out of there, Seahawks are in cover three, and he finds, you know, this crosser. They're basically working a three-man concept. The other guys stay behind a block or leak out late, and he finds the number two working across the field because um, he's basically, you know, this weak side hook. So he's working to find uh, to this receiver side of the field where this bunch was. Finds McBride working across just a tiny bit late, but then has the recovery speed to get back, not panic, and then play through the hands. With great timing. That's some good stuff. Not a lot of linebackers can do this on a consistent basis. And I feel like this is somewhere where he feels very comfortable. And he can make some plays. And this is exactly what the Dolphins I think needed defensively. At that second level. Because that would have helped a lot. I think he uh, fits really nicely with what David Long does. And also Anthony Walker. The other linebacker they signed. Which I'll get to at some point you know, this week. Uh, who I liked his film to. Uh, for what they signed him to. So, But Jordan Brooks I feel like can be really special. Especially in these areas in coverage and I just don't think the Dolphins have had uh this type of linebacker in a while kind of a you know similar type plays on the back side he's the weak side hook on a three by one this time with tight ends and I love uh just the understanding of what's going on here he knows that he's the weak side hook basically this guy's matched up one-on-one -on -one to this side so he can open up his hips and just look to this three receiver side right here which ends up being you know three tight ends but just being patient he sees everything's kind of working away from him Peeks back to the QB, sees kind of what he's looking at here. 
just in case, you know, he might throw into this zone so he can peel off and make a play. But he doesn't see that happening, so he stays patient. Um, finds that this tight end's gonna work back across late, which a lot of guys will get sucked down by this and, uh, you know, maybe come down, try to take the running back, or just cover grass. But he gains depth, finds the tight end trying to work across late and just takes away that throwing lane. Um, this is not an easy ask. Not a lot, a lot of linebackers are making these types of plays. Jordan Brooks, I think, really, really like what he brings in coverage, especially in those situations where he can carry guys down the field and really show off that athletic ability and range that he possesses. In Seattle, he lined up in, like, a lot of different spots, you know, from, like, middle, but also getting him out, like, deeper, playing as, like, an overhang at times or just being in the slot. And uh, it just allows some versatility and I think you know those are the things the Dolphins like to do with uh, their new defensive coordinator they're gonna have a lot of versatile looks up front with their front seven and having a guy with this athletic ability is important because he's outside you know basically would have been lined up outside shade of a tight end if he was there and he gets sucked in sees that that's kind of what they're doing right here with this read option stuff but he's able to recognize that Hertz is gonna pull and he comes off of it late probably gets sucked in a little too much but he avoids the block of the linebacker he stays square and then look at him explode out of this laterally. Out of a lateral stance, boom, he gets out of there quickly, shows off that range, would have got to Hurts immediately, which would have allowed him not to really get anything. And then he pitches it out to Goddard, which he still works out and helps make the tackle with his defensive back. Love his sideline to sideline range. Just wanted to show that off. Because even when he does, I think, you know, get slightly out of position, which can happen from time to time. And I don't think it's like a super common occurrence. He has that athletic ability to really make up for it, especially to the stuff that gets out to the perimeter. I also feel pretty comfortable with Brooks in like man coverage for the most part. Um, here he gets DeAndre Swift 101, trying to hit him on a double move, especially on these vertical shots. I feel like he carries vertically really well. I feel like, you know, the times where he's going to get in trouble in man coverage is if he gets like, you know, McCaffrey or really like quick shifted slot receiver running back type. And then they have an option route and they have a lot of space to work with, which 99% of linebackers aren't going to be able to cover that. But when he's able to, you know, uh, have some good space here and he's able to feel this out pretty well, uh, able to mirror and match, good footwork, stays patient, seals that double move, and then gets back over top, good hand placement to slow him down, and then uh, stay in the hip pocket of DeAndre Swift. Those are the things that you, don't, you want to see, and I feel like uh, the different types of coverages he feels comfortable is, is honestly the farther he gets down the field, which is, is pretty impressive. As I was saying, the, Ulf, or the Seahawks like to use him out in the slot like, uh, Seahawks are in quarters here. Uh, Eagles go empty. And I think this is a problem the Dolphins had last season. So they would have their linebackers sometimes get isolated on a number two receiver without in the slot. And teams would take advantage of it. Or it would be like, hey, this could have been like David Long. Sometimes it would even be like edge type off ball linebackers like Van Ginkle. Sometimes even like Chubb or Phillips in certain games. And those guys would get open with ease. But even against Devontae Smith here, look at him anticipate this. He understands like this guy's dropping and he has help to the inside. So Brooks anticipates this he stays square stays patient he realizes a lot of these situations can have being option routes he can break inside outside or just sit this down and i think he understands with that inside help that uh smith's gonna break to the outside so he just stays square he anticipates it already moves before the Devonte breaks love the anticipatory skills when he can play top down like this and match things underneath him and they're working horizontally like that i feel like brooks feels very comfortable uh, these types of plays super impressive and uh, he makes them pretty consistently they're definitely uh, all over the film this is a big third and three situation. Brooks motions across, um, you know, with the late shift with the Ferguson. Uh, thinks it's going to be, you know, he's man to man with a tight end, but he ends up blitzing. It's a huge sack. Definitely looks comfortable as a blitzer, which is something you have to do for the Ravens. Rave, uh, or you know, with Anthony Weaver coming from the Ravens, he takes those concepts. They like to blitz, be versatile, uh, do a bunch of different things. So this will be nice to see. Uh, make Pollard the running back miss. Uh, we saw him close fast earlier when he had an open lane. He can definitely do that, but then coming underneath, uh, <laughs> running back's kind of scared to take him on, uh, get over the top, show some fluidity there, and then get after the quarterback, takes good angles. I feel like, you know, tackling can be a little bit inconsistent, especially in open space for Brooks, but overall, I feel like I really like his game, like, across the board. I feel like he's pretty consistent, like the stuff in coverage. I feel like, you know, he can be better as, like, a zone spot dropper with instincts when things get behind him and he doesn't have eyes on it. I feel like he can feel a little uncomfortable, and then versus the run, uh, sometimes can be uncomfortable when he has to, you know, sometimes offensive linemen, I think, when he's uncovered can get the better of him. But overall, for, you know, what the signing is, I think it's like, it's up to $10 million a year, but about like 8.125, something like that, which is pretty cheap, good signing. And for the cap space the Dolphins have, 
I think they've done a good job so far. More good stuff here versus the run, especially when he has to play for some outside zone and he's able to, you know, beat the offensive lineman. They're trying to cut him off at the point of attack. I feel like he's pretty comfortable here. He's on the back side of these runs. This time, you know, he's basically straight up in the middle of the field, uh, shade to the weak side of it. But outside zone, this guy tries to combo and get across, but he's able to get up field this time. Last time he played a little more patient and then, you know, stacked and then, you know, uh, scraped back to the back side of it. This time he sees that this hole's going to open up, so he has to get downhill in a hurry to fit this to avoid the block of this. And McCaffrey's such a good player, like, most guys would end up running into this, but he's able to anticipate read and get a around. But it runs into Wagner, and then Brooks end up still helping make the tackle, uh, wrapping him up low. Good stuff. Like seeing him uh, play well versus the run. Because uh, most he really stood out to me in coverage. But making these types of plays versus the run make me feel pretty good about him as an all-around player. It's a pretty, you know, decent play in coverage. It's a first and 18 situation. Um, Kittle works into his area. He passes it off, gets physical, you know, kind of reroute him, hands-on. And then uh, you stay in your zone. You pass this off, knows where that help is. And then get downhill, make a play on the dump off to McCaffrey, and make the tackle instantly. And on a first and eighteen, they gain four yards like that. I feel like that's a pretty just solid play. Like not, it's just nice to see him make these types of plays in coverage because um, sometimes if you're just always carrying guys down the field vertically and you have to just not spot drop like this and play vision on the quarterback, sometimes those guys can be a little bit lost um, or take themselves out of the play. So it's nice to see Brooks is also capable of this. And I like that you know he's constantly. Staying square, he plays with good pad level, bends at the knees, and then uh, he's already just in a football position. Like, I love the body lean he plays with, and then just explodes out of it, very active with his feet, and then wraps up with a nice length as well. Here's Brooks pick six versus the Niners. Nothing too crazy here. He just ends up, you know, being in the right place. I like seeing him communicate, pass that off uh, to the seam. Uh, knows he has some help over the top. And then the ball ends up getting slightly uh, slightly missed, and it gets tipped up, and he's just in the right spot to get the interception for the touchdown. Nothing too crazy, but I just feel like, you know, you got to show the pick six uh, in the film breakdown. Here's a really good example of how I feel about um, Jordan Brooks in coverage. Finding the deep crosser on Odell Beckham Jr. ends up being like a big run from Lamar Jackson. But this is stuff that you need to see from these linebackers within this system, uh, you know, with the Ravens. You know, they do a little bit of play action, but basically just dropping. Here he is, uh, sees that he's not really threatened by anything underneath. Um, he he realizes, uh, you know, there's a lot of room to work with. And he just finds, you know, the crosser working from the opposite side of the field, which is really nice. And you don't see linebackers be able to just, boom, turn open their hips, explode out of this. Think of all the times where uh, quarterbacks had, like, open space to work with last season. And then you would just see, like, a deep crosser down the field, like, think, you know, the Titans game or, like, the Cowboys. These guys would clear out. The linebackers would still be sitting in this area. And then some guy would come open late over here. But Brooks is able to take those types of things away. This is not normal for most linebackers right there. Look at Brooks make this impressive play. And this is versus the Ravens. Remember the Ravens game. Remember what happened with it when they threw these wheel routes to Justice Hill against the Dolphins linebackers, specifically Duke Riley. And it ended up being big time plays for the Ravens offense. I think they scored a touchdown off it and also got another big one. Um, out of it or it ended up being like OPI I got called back but yeah it's just something that took him apart and look Brooks is aligned up pretty tight here he's like almost like basically over the center and he has to cover Hill out in space this is impressive love the patience out of him this is a lot of space to work with and you know he maintains good leverage holds that inside leverage unless he wants to take that just in case they run that angle route um, if they throw it to the out he probably gets completed but he's able to at least you know tackle that and hold that to a minimal gain but then he's still able to stay on top and ends up getting, you know, deflection, knock it out late. That is good work from a linebacker. Um, very, very impressed with Jordan Brooks in coverage. Um, I saw that PFF was, there's kind of mixed takes about it, whether he was good in coverage or not. From what I've seen watching the eye test, when it's really him as like, you know, main priority, um, that's where he's supposed to be in coverage. He usually ends up making a good play. A few more plays to look at here. Here's Jordan Brooks getting a sack. Um, this is a third and two situation, and they're just, Trying to, you know, do some play action boot stuff, get the ball out. And this is just impressive range, bro, range like the stuff that he's able to do. You know, he's tight to the line of scrimmage too, which, you know, he's expecting run up the middle, third and two, third and short type situation. He sees, he recognizes that these guys are more uh, pass blocking off the rip here. So he doesn't shoot downhill immediately, sees the flow of this play, and then just gets out of it. Sh just like shot out of a cannon right here to get Josh Dobbs, who's a pretty athletic quarterback out in space. 
um, even over pursues a little bit, but he's able to, you know, make up for it with those long arms to make the, that tackle and ends up holding that to absolutely no gain. Love to see that out of Brooks. Some more impressive athletic play from Brooks here in different situations. Uh, them doing some, you know, option stuff there with the quarterback. They make it look like he's going to run. They bring a receiver into the backfield. They pull this guy across. A lot of the situations you think this is just misdirection here. And then he's going to follow the pulling offensive lineman. No, it ends up being he uh, ends up giving it because 53 is there. But you can see him just shoot out instantly, anticipate this, um, get out there. And Rondell Moore is a pretty good athlete on space. And he just makes another great play with his lateral range. Really has some sideline to sideline capabilities, which I think is huge for the Dolphins. Because with David Long, David Long is like an elite run defender, but leaves some things to be desired in coverage. I think Brooks has some great ability in coverage. And then at times versus the run, I, you know, think he could play better, but overall still pretty solid. So I think they complement each other pretty well. And I think, you know, uh, Brooks is like the sideline to sideline playmaker versus the run. Well, Long is like a more get downhill, shoot gaps, make plays in the backfield type of run defender. So I feel like they can uh, work off each other pretty nicely. Last play that we're going to break down, Cardinals in empty. We have Brooks out here to the three receiver side, locate the guy working across um, into his area. You know, it looks like, you know, the Seahawks are playing quarters. He's the flat defender. He sees this guy ends up working to the outside, but he's working into this guy's uh, area, and he finds, you know, the receiver working back across. Uh, locate it, get downhill, change directions, make a play at the catch point, good timing, knock that ball out. Just a lot of different types of plays I've seen him making coverage now, which makes me feel good about him because sometimes you see a linebacker, and they make a lot of good plays in coverage, but they're all like the exact same situations. So sometimes those guys can struggle when it, those situations get slightly turned around. But now I've seen him, you know, match up on running backs out in space multiple times, carry vertically um, from just a receiver alignment and out of the backfield, which is important. Uh, being able to spot drop, come downhill, um, match people in the slot, carry down the field vertically, find crossers, find shallow crossers, all things that I feel uh, very good about with Jordan Brooks' game. So big fan of this pickup. Like a lot of these moves, uh, I'll get to the rest of, you know, this week. Um, maybe even do, I think next week I might do a, a, my first live stream just to talk about everything. You know, Dolphins, we'll do some draft stuff, talk about the departures, uh, all of the guys they added, so it should be fun. So if you guys are the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys